Good morning, everyone. It's Penelope, and I'm going to make this extremely quick because I'm getting ready to get ready for my Kroger deal video. It's Thursday. This sale started yesterday, right? Ah! Anyway, this video was requested by Pennsylvania Prepper um, to respond, to do a video response to Tyler at Let's Talk About Prepping. I think it's the name of his channel. I will type it in the comments. I am not able to add stuff and all that stuff. My, my, my channel is very simple. Um, it is in response to Tyler. Um, he wanted to redefine prepping. Okay. How do you redefine prepping? Well, number one, sir, don't throw sand into people's eyes if you're trying to get them to see clearly your message. With labeling them because of their political stance, agenda, or where they come from or their group, you can't you can't expect someone to be open to information. If you're saying, well, lives this, conservatives that, it's not gonna work. Number one, I know preppers from all political standpoints, all walks of life, all three classes. I know people that prep and I have encouraged people to prep. Um, but that was something that I saw. Um, tricking people. He said to trick people into prepping. The hell kind of magic? What? What are you doing? I thought that really looked hilarious. I watched this video like four times. And then he called it a hobby. Are you freaking kidding me? Tyler, it's not a hobby, darling. It's a lifestyle. I did a video res I've done three video responses on my channel since I've had it. And one was because someone called gardening and canning a hobby, and I flipped out. It is a lifestyle. Some of it is generationally handed down. It's not a hobby. So redefining prepping would be redefining your thinking on how to approach the subject. You didn't approach it very well in my in my aspect, but I don't I don't take people's like that because once you start labeling people and stuff that's when I turn your channel off when I start seeing people label people and put people in social groups and so on this is why society has destroyed humanity I hope you all realize that and if you fall into that category of constantly talking bad about libs or constantly talking about the political agenda this and that and everything you're the reason you can't enlighten people, enlighten people about what's being compared Okay, what else did I see? Um, that was it. Labeling. I just I have a problem with that. Tricking people and the word hobby. Okay, let's get down to the nitty gritty of how I would redefine prepping. Number one, um, back to the basics. When you're speaking to someone about your adventure in prepping, I, I always start off with, in this area, winter. Are you ready for winter? What do you mean? Well, do you have enough food and things to last you a week just in case the roads get bad and you can't get out for a week? Well, no. Might be a good idea. Because remember when. And re re remember when is a key start to any sentence when you're talking about events that can cause um, the need for being prepared. Winter weather out here gets horrible. The year of 1978 was a horrible winter. Um, I believe 78 and 73, both of those years were horrible. And people didn't get out for weeks, okay? And a lot of people were taking tractors. They were going to people's houses, dropping off food because they knew their neighbors didn't have anything. So remember when, when you're talking about being prepared, whether you're talking about a hurricane, a flood, you're talking about, um, Oh, anything like that. Remember when. Remember when the depression hit. Did you get through some of that or be prepared? Okay, good. Make sure you have seed, you have ways of growing food, you have ways of storing food. Um, prepared. The dust bowl, that was a big thing. Any weather event you can go through and that will get a leeway into uh, prepping. 
what could happen, injury, job loss, major financial events. That's how you can ease into that. But, you know, I'm going to go back to my granny. Um, she was always in the process of preparing for the next season. She had acres of food. She dried food, canned food, fish. Like, Poppy would catch fish, she would can it. And they would have fish cakes in the middle of the winter time with fresh fish. So, this is why I recommend a binder. Know what you're prepping for. And I would recommend if you are, if you have not seen the binder series, go ahead and take a look at it. I know that my video stuff is like down the tubes, but the information is awesome. But Tyler, honey, you're not going to get your um, information out there if you don't enlighten, educate, and encourage without throwing the labels out there, without thinking that you're going to trick someone, and without using your mind to show them the way, which means you go into remember wins, historical events, and disasters like that. Just a little word of advice, Tyler. But that's how I redefine prepping, is to go back to the basics of what our our family in history did. General, general, generational pass downs of canning food preservation. That's simple. Finding sales, stock up. That's what I do. Y'all have a great day. Bye.